In this episode of Gogglebox, our friends and families are reacting to a TV show where a man is selling jars of air. What the f*** is that about? Oh, I like him. Yeah, he's a good comedian, isn't he? He's so clever. A jar of air. And he's selling people air in a jar. Is this serious? I don't know what life has come to. <laughs> life has come to this. Selling air in a jar. How are these people getting away with that? Who buys that? Okay, so our first reaction, is this serious? Is this serious? This is a way to show disbelief. Like, I just don't believe this to be true, right? Is this serious? Or are you serious? Or are you being serious? Now, an alternative to that that I really like is, is this for real? Is this for real? Are you for real? It's a nice alternative to serious. So, is this serious or is this for real? Both are perfectly fine. You can also say, is this a joke? Or are you joking? Um, another way, maybe a bit more slang would be, um, is this a wind up? Like, are you joking with me? Like, this can't be serious. Like, I don't believe this to be true. Essentially, that's what it is, right? I don't believe this to be true. So a really great phrase to show your disbelief or your shock. Is this serious? Is this for real? Is this a joke? Is this a wind up? Four great phrases there to show your disbelief. Let's say you see a story about a parrot that can speak in a Scottish accent. I know, right? You got a fat bum? Aye. 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 Oh, hello. Hello. Onion, do you want to live in another home? That's it. Look, she's taking a dog out, Onion. Yeah. bastard. Are you for real? <sighs> wow. Are these people getting away with that? Who buys that? Who is buying that? Oh, come on. Are they serious? Nah, nah, I'm not convinced. No chance, John. What's going on? The world's gone bonkers. A nice phrase here, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Another great way to say that you don't believe what someone has said, that, again, it's disbelief, right? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. On. Are they serious? I don't know what life has come to. <laughs> life has come to this. Selling air in a jar. Okay, so a couple of variations of the same idea here. Essentially, this phrase is, what has life come to? Oh, what has life come to? Which is a phrase that we use to show disgust or disbelief that something has happened. Oh, what has life come to? Um, another way of saying that would be, what has the world come to? Oh, what has the world come to? So for example, the first ever time I went to central London and paid six pounds for a pint of beer. Six pounds for a pint of beer. What has the world come to? Unbelievable. I don't know what life has come to. <laughs> life has come to this, selling air in a jar. Some of the phrases that we use to show disbelief or shock have swear words in. And that's all right, we, we can deal with that, that's fine. Now you probably know most of them. A, a nice variation, where you don't necessarily need to say the swear word would be, shut the front door. Shut the front door. How much for a pint of beer? Shut the front door. A nice way to avoid saying a swear word, but to show disbelief. Of course, if you did want to say the swear word, that would be, shut the f up. <laughs> Which is great and perfectly fine to use, as long as you're in the right context. Okay, so don't use it in the office or in your IELTS exam, okay? Cool. Oh, bloody hell. Another one might be bloody hell. Bloody hell. Now this one is seen by some people as being rude. I, I think it's okay. It's not as rude as the F word. I, I think you'll be fine. If you say oh, bloody hell, it's probably okay. Flipping hell as well. Flipping hell is a nice variation on bloody hell. So, oh, flipping hell, like again, showing your shock or your disbelief. And if you do want to use the swear word, then <laughs> me. Off. No way. F off. Really? <laughs> Drop the F bomb if you need to. If you don't need to, there's plenty of alternatives. No chance, John. What's going on? The world's gone bonkers. Okay, another nice alternative. No chance, John. No chance. Again, this shows that you don't believe what has just happened or what someone has said. So in this example, he doesn't believe John, right? No chance, John. Not a chance. So example sentence. Um. Someone says to you, Arsenal are going to win the Premier League this year. You go, <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> yeah, 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 no chance. Arsenal <laughs> winning the league. Woo! <laughs> no chance, John. What's going on? The world's gone bonkers. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? A phrase to show that you, that you disbelief in what's happening. So you can't believe it. What? What's literally what's going on? What's going on? If you wanted to add some emphasis to that, what the hell's going on? You could add more to it. What the bloody hell's going on? Ah, oh. John, what's going on? The world's gone bonkers. Ah, I like this one. The world's gone bonkers. Bonkers. This is a great word. Bonkers means crazy, right? So you could put any word there. So you could say uh, the world's gone bonkers. The world's gone mad. The world's gone crazy. The world's gone bananas. The world's gone nuts. Yeah. The world's gone do lally. That's a very British term there. Whatever you want, you can just slot that that word in there. So in this case, the world's gone bonkers. Like you're just saying you're showing disbelief or shock at something that's happened, and you're just saying, "Wow, the world's crazy. This this is a crazy situation." Ah, the world's gone bonkers. So the etymology of the word bonkers goes back to the Second World War, when it actually meant sort of slightly light-headed or maybe a little bit drunk. Now, possibly that came from the word bonk, which means to bang your head. So, uh, yeah, an interesting etymology there, a great word that you can use. Now, in peak Brexit times, there was a story run about how the EU were going to impose rules on the shapes of bananas and how if a banana was too bendy, they wouldn't allow it to be sold. As you can imagine, this caused a lot of interest. I remember being in the street and this guy was reacting to the news that he was seeing and he just went, banning bendy bananas? The world's got bananas. <laughs> all right, if you would like to learn all about Adele's British English accent, you can click on this video here. And if you'd like to learn more British English slang, you can click right here. And I'll see you in the next video.